So this saltwater tank has been sitting here with just one clownfish for a long time. And every time someone comes and sees this clownfish, they're always like, where's his friends? And I'm like, well, this tank's pretty small. I can't really fit anything else in it. Maybe one more fish. So what I did was I went to my local fish store and I had them order me in a damsel. It was a designer, I guess you could say damsel. It was different from what I've ever seen before. And that was four months ago and I've never seen it. They've never been able to get it in. So for the past four months, the only friend Nemo has had is this rubber duck, but that ends today. So I did want go ahead and pick up a damsel at Petco. I found one that I've never seen before. It's pretty small, so it should be able to be in this tank for a long time. And I think Nemo and this damsel will become best friends. So here's some footage from Petco and him in the tank. So I did go ahead and get that little small yellow and blue and white one. Here he is in the bag. He was only $5. Damsels are pretty cheap. They can be semi-aggressive, but so can clownfish. So it's really a hit or miss. I'm hoping this will be great. So I'm just going to start off by floating him in the tank. We'll take off this rubber duck. Sorry, rubber duck. Then we're going to take off this lid. As you can see, the clownfish darts. He's scared. I just did a water change on this tank today, and I didn't even know I was getting a new fish, so thinking ahead, even though I didn't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and acclimate him. We're gonna... All right, so he's just floating in the tank, acclimating, and turn the light off to reduce some stress. So we'll be back once the temperature is acclimated, and then we'll go ahead and salinity acclimate him by adding some var water into the bag. Then eventually we'll let him go. All right, so he's been temperature acclimating for a few minutes, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and salinity acclimate him. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and open the bag right here. You can see he's stressed out, even the clownfish is stressed out hiding under that rock. So we'll start off by undoing this rubber band, and then I'm just gonna take this cup right here, and I'm just gonna dump some of my water into the bag just to get him used to this salinity, like so. And now we're just gonna do the same thing, let it sit for about 10 more minutes, and then I'll net him out. All right, so he's done acclimating, he or she. They're super stressed out, obviously, because, you know, been in a bag, been chased around the aquarium at Petco. It took a while for the guy to actually net this guy out because damsels are super fast. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and dump him over this net. I'm not gonna net him out of the bag just because that would stress him out further. So I'm just gonna go ahead, dump it out. He got the damsel in the net. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and put him right in the aquarium. There he is, he's probably gonna go dart down. The clownfish is over in the corner, over there, scared to death. My clownfish is a scaredy cat. The damsel is under those rocks. And I'll go ahead and give them about an hour, then I'll turn the light back on, and I'll show you how they look, all colored back up, and that'll be it. So it's actually the next day, and when I woke up, I saw the damsel swimming around, doing great. He's a little bit shy when I approached the tank still, but overall, they're doing amazing. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any more video ideas, also leave those down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.